हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड टाइम टू ऑल आई एम चंदन कुमार प्रधान वेलकम टू दिट चैनल चंदन फिजिक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस फर्स्ट लॉ ऑफ थर्मोडाइनमिक्स एंड इट्स फिजिकल सिग्निफिकेंस लेट्स एगेन फर्स्ट लॉ ऑफ थर्मोडाइनमिक्स हैज टू डिफरेंट फॉर्म्स फर्स्ट फॉर्म फर्स्ट फॉर्म इट इज सिंपली द लॉ ऑफ कंजर्वेशन ऑफ एनर्जी हुच गिव्स द इक्वेलेंस बिटवीन मेकानिकल हीट एंड हीट एनर्जी मीन्स वेन मेकानिकल एनर्जी मेकानिकल नॉट एनर्जी दैट इज व्हेन मेकानिकल वर्क इज डन मेकानिकल वर्क इज डन ऑन ए सिस्टम हीट इज प्रोड्यूस्ड heat is produced and work done is directly proportional to what amount of heat is produced means the mechanical work done the mechanical work done is directly proportional to the heat produced to the heat produced so we write here mechanical work done in the sense that is w which is directly proportional to heat produced as h and we overcome that proportional we use the proportionality constant so w is equal to j h where j is called where j is called the joules mechanical energy joules mechanical joules mechanical equivalent of heat equivalent of heat and that value is 4.2 joules per calorie joules per calorie or W by H is equal to J. That is a constant. W by H is a constant. That means the mechanical work done to that of heat produced gives rise. a constant the ratio of mechanical work done to heat produced is always a constant 
and uh, this form of uh, law is true only if uh, whole of the work done is used in producing heat in that of case that law holds good this is the first form of first law of thermodynamics that is the equivalence between mechanical work done or mechanical energy to that of heat energy next the second form of first law of thermodynamics second form second form of first law of thermodynamics second form of this law is a particular form of law of conservation of energy which gives the statement of law of thermodynamic in a detailed form that means what is the statement it states that when small amount of heat small amount of heat the dq small amount of heat dq is given to a system or a body is uh, given to a body or we can say it as a system that is a thermodynamic system a part of this heat a part of this heat a part of this heat is used in is used in increasing the internal energy of the body the internal energy of the body internal energy we symbolize as du the internal energy of the body and the remaining part and remaining part remaining part is used in doing work doing work against external pressure against external pressure so i write it mathematically that is the small amount of heat supplied to that of system dq that amount of heat is used to change the internal energy of that of body the change the internal energy of that of body du and uh, some parts uh, converted to that of work done against that of external pressure that is d w so what is the internal energy internal energy for that of a thermodynamic system we tell it as uh, that is the def definite amount of energy stored in it in a thermodynamic system what is the amount of energy stored in it that means this stored energy is capable of doing work that called the internal energy of that of system taking an example like when we take a battery or electric cell that is electrical energy is produced due to that of chemical reaction that is the internal energy of that of uh, particular instrument so if we consider a system of uh, particles a system of thermodynamic uh, a number of particles in a thermodynamic system so the internal energy of uh, these molecules or that of uh, bodies that stay in that of thermodynamic system is the sum of uh, kinetic energy and potential energy that achieved by these uh, particles in that of thermodynamic system that is the total 
internal energy of uh, that thermodynamic system. So, what amount of heat is supplied to that of system that is converted to doing the change in internal energy and uh, some are uh, against uh, uh, that uh, uh, that uh, another remaining part is used to doing work against external pressure. So, d q that is d u plus d w can be written as p d v work done against external pressure p d v. This is the form of first law of thermodynamics. In this case, the heat energy, the internal energy and work done all are in that of units of heat. Thus, according to first law of thermodynamics, uh, heat energy, internal energy and work done are in that of same in nature. These uh, are uh, two the form of first law of thermodynamics, this is the first form, that one is the second form. Basically, let me study what are the physical significance of first law of thermodynamics. So, the physical significant physical significant first of thermodynamics establishes an exact relationship between heat and work it uh, establishes an exact relation between heat and work that can be shown in first form of that of first law of thermodynamics the relation in between heat and work again this is the most general form of law of conservation of energy this is the most general form general form of conservation of energy conservation of energy conservation of energy in the sense energy neither be created nor be destroyed but it transforms from one form to another in these two cases we say here the amount of energy supplied is used in these two cases one change in internal energy uh, another one that is the work against that external pressure and here the amount of energy supplied that is the mechanical work is done as a system of heat is produced and the work done is directly proportional to that of heat produced these two forms are basically on conservation of energy again a definite amount of heat produces a definite amount of heat produces a definite amount of energy definite amount of energy how much amount of heat produced that depend on that of how much amount of energy is produced ok next if uh, we try to construct a thermal machine that uh, operate uh, in that of uh, heat techniques 
so it is impossible to construct to that a thermal machine which can operate without the expenditure of fuel so it is impossible to construct to construct a thermal machine thermal machine which uh, can operate which can operate without the expenditure of fuel without the expenditure of expenditure of fuel means if there will be no fuel that means there will be no such construction to that of thermal machine there will be mandatory of fuel to construct that of thermal machine again uh, this uh, law states that uh, all transformation of energy due to heat supply to a system must be balanced by work done and increase in internal energy as shown in that of relation dq is equal to du plus pdv and this first law of thermodynamics uh, includes various types of ideas ideas on the basis of this first law of thermodynamics the ideas uh, are carried out means uh, from this we conclude that uh, heat is a form of energy heat is a form of energy this idea is idea derived from that of first law of thermodynamics again energy is conserved in thermodynamic system energy is conserved in a thermodynamic system thermodynamic system means the first law of thermodynamics is basically based upon that of con conservation of energy concept okay third idea every thermodynamic system every thermodynamic system thermodynamic system as we consider the thermodynamic system has uh, definite internal energy has internal energy has internal energy which is uh, in the function of state only which is a function of state only state only that depend upon that of state how much amount of uh, internal energy will be in that of particular thermodynamic system so these are the ideas uh, that uh, relate to the first law of thermodynamics so throughout that of uh, video lecture we understand what is first law of thermodynamics it has uh, two forms first form is the basic relation between mechanical energy and heat energy second law is the details uh, details uh, study regarding the conservation of energy how the amount of heat supplied is used to, to change in internal energy and uh, some work on increase that of external pressure and physical significance of uh, first law of thermodynamics now what are the ideas that are derived from that of first law of thermodynamics these are the ideas that are derived from the first law of thermodynamics so with this useful and infinite notes let me wind up this session. Thank you.